Hey everyone, Paul Halliday, and today we're going to look at embedding YouTube videos within our Angular 2 and Ionic 2 applications. So simply start a new Ionic project by running Ionic start YouTube dash embed blank and using dash dash v2 to ensure that it's an Ionic 2 project. Then when you've done that, open up VS Code or your preferred editor. And then we'll go to home.html and start filling in a little template. So Ionic title will then become YouTube embed. The nav bar will of course become primary. And then we can go into our home TS and we can make an array. Now this array is gonna be simply an array of videos. So it's gonna have a title and then it's gonna have an embed link. So this will make sense in a second. So there we are, we have an array of videos of array any and it simply has a title, a video and a title, a video. So this embed code here, when we run it in our ng4, will be responsible for hooking into the iframe source and simply injecting the video URL there. This will make sense in a moment. For now, we'll make an ion card and inside the card, we'll have an ion card header and that's gonna be where our title goes. And then we'll have the ion card content be responsible for what the video. So then we can do an ng4, let video of videos, and we can simply put video.title. And then we can embed the video within an iframe inside the content. So we can take a standard iframe that we get from YouTube and replace the source to be of the video.video. .video. And that is simply going to be this right here. No, that's it. That's all you need to do. But you'll realize that this doesn't work. So when you save and you open up your app, you're going to get error caused by an unsafe value in a resource URL. Now, essentially, this is to stop cross-site scripting. So we need to overcome that by what you call sanitizing the URL before we display it. To do this, we're going to make a custom pipe. Now, if you've never seen a pipe in Angular 2 before, don't worry, I'm going to explain it as we go along. So head over to your terminal and run Ionic G pipe, and we're going to call the pipe YouTube. You can then see your pipe in the pipes directory under YouTube.ts. We need to add the pipe to our project, so go to app module.ts and importer. So we want to import from pipes YouTube and then we want to add it in our declarations so what a pipe does is it takes anything in its transform function and the value of which we can then do something with so for example in the standard pipe example it takes the value and returns it to lowercase so it makes everything lowercase and it spits out a new value so what we're gonna do is simply put our URL is the value here. We're gonna sanitize the URL and then we're gonna return the sanitized URL. So to do this, we need to simply import DOM sanitizer from Angular slash platform browser. And then we can inject it in a constructor. So let's make a constructor here, private DOM, DOM sanitizer. And before we do anything with the DOM sanitizer, I just want to go through the pipe again. So let's console.log the value of the transform. And inside of our home.html, we can then put video.video. .video. And to use a pipe, we simply put the pipe operator and then the name of the pipe. So YouTube. And that's the name of the selector. So that can be different than the pipe itself. So we could call this if we wanted to sanitizer but we'd have to go back in our HTML here and instead put sanitizer it's often a good idea to put the pipes the same name as your class so we're going to simply put it back to YouTube so when we add the pipe to the video you can see that we no longer get the error but now it says cannot get no because inside of our pipe we're returning nothing we're simply just logging out the value so this means in our console, we can actually see the result of the transform function here on every single one of the URLs as it iterates through our array with ng4. So we have the first embed here and the second embed there. 
and this is logged inside the transform. So what we need to do is instead of logging it out, we need to return a sanitized version of that. So return this.dom.bypass security trust resource URL and then the value. This will return the sanitized URL for every single one of the URLs in the array. And we should find that our embed works. And we can make this a little prettier if we go back here and instead of width being 560, we make it 100%. And there you go, it fits now inside the card. We can press play. And we can see the cards plays the YouTube video within the app. The final thing you'll have to do if you're building for iOS, you'll have to go into your config.xml and you'll have to add allow navigation href https colon slash slash star youtube.com slash star. This fixes a lot of the problems when embedding on an iOS device, but aside from that, you should be done. If this video helped you and you can now use an embedded YouTube video within your app, then hit that subscribe button. And for all other tutorials, check out learnionic2.com for more info.